Springs. It's official. A massive expansion at GM Spring Hill plant will bring new vehicles, a new engine, and hundreds of new jobs. We'll have more on today's big announcement and its impact on workers in just a moment. Now that is great news, but first with that big expansion will come big increases in traffic and travel, putting even more strain on Spring Hill's already congested roads. So what do these growing pains mean for the community and what's being done to fix them? New at 6, News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger is live from Highway 31 in Spring Hill. Mark, there are plans to expand some of the infrastructure there. That's right, Rory, Vicki, this is Highway 31 or Main Street in Spring Hill. It's past 6 o'clock and there's still heavy traffic here, which is like, it's like this almost every day. City officials say they are trying to add turn lanes and acceleration lanes where they can in this city on the main thoroughfares, but any relief, any real relief is at least four years away. The GM expansion in Spring Hill further solidifies the city's recovery from the Great Recession. Hundreds of jobs are coming. Economists say each of those jobs will create another six support jobs. It's great news if you own a business or build and sell homes. It's great news. It's great news for the whole business community here in Spring Hill and the immediate area. It's all good. It's pretty phenomenal. It has picked up immensely. The values of homes are increasing. Or is it? Spring Hill is struggling with infrastructure challenges, mainly roads. The main arteries are clogged during the morning and afternoon rush hours and sometimes on the weekends. Well, obviously roads is, is a concern and it has been. But uh, I understand that the city is working closely with the state. In one case, the state is kicking in money to help with roads. Some of those GM support jobs will be located here on Beechcroft Road. Two companies will employ 500 people and help supply the automaker. And have somewhere in the neighborhood of about 115 trucks per day between the two of them running uh, to the GM plant. Spring Hill City Administrator Victor Lay says the developer building the site is adding turn and acceleration lanes. The city will reimburse the developer with state money. When there is new industries coming, they have a pool of monies at TDOT that they can uh, draw from to, to build roadway improvements, uh, industrial drives into parks, things of that nature. Other road improvements will depend on city planners and TDOT. The city is conducting traffic studies and putting together a plan. It looks like any new construction to widen roads is still four years away. In the meantime, jobs and people keep coming, and Lay says that's a good thing. You know, anytime you hear new jobs, regardless, you get excited about that. And you're looking at a live picture of Highway 31, which again is Main Street in Spring Hill. Lots of congestion still, though the city administrator says when you look at other the other parts of the infrastructure like water and sewer, the city's fine there. In fact, they're going to start they're going to they're going to build another water tower or water tank, a million gallon water tank here in the next 2 months. So there's plenty of water, plenty of sewer. The problem the problem again roads here in Spring Hill. Reporting live from Spring Hill, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD.